Hope Galloway is 59 years old. He, she and her husband both have full-time jobs. They have a 21-year-old daughter, Martha, who functions at the level of a preschooler and is also prone to violent outbursts. Now, Hope has been trying for months to get her a placement in a group home or in a day program because at the end of this month, the place that Martha's been going for years through a school program ends because she is now 21. If I had to retire, then I would never, ever, I would be like a Siamese twin with Martha. And that's not healthy for her, it's not healthy for me, and she needs to be in a setting where she's with like adults, um, a peer system. Now, Hope Galloway says she's had no luck getting any help, and this is nothing new. Thousands of Canadian parents are in this situation, and the Ontario government promised $800 million last year to fix this. The money hasn't trickled down to everyone, though, and the minister responsible acknowledges that this is taking time. Uh, disabled groups are saying they're now going to make this an election issue at the federal level. They say they want the federal government to come up with an income security program like old age security for the disabled so that would free up money that the provinces normally spend on social assistance for disabled people and they could put that money into programs. The federal government has a spending power and if it doesn't start using its spending power in some way to address the gaps here, and it's got to be a collaborative effort, we're going, this example that you started with, families are going to burn out. Meantime, Hope Galloway is going public again in desperation because she hopes someone will come forward and say they have a place for Martha. Kathy Tomlinson, CBC News, Vancouver.